This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Creative Pro. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can convert your InDesign layers to Photoshop layers. If you're wondering why you might want to convert InDesign layers to Photoshop layers, well, you could use the converted layers to make an animated GIF, a video, a web layout, or social media content. Here's an example of an InDesign layout that I'd like to convert to Photoshop layers. Although I could export this page in a variety of formats by going to File, Export, there isn't a way, directly within InDesign, to export my document as a Photoshop file that preserves the layers. Fortunately, there is a script that can do the conversion for me. The script is called InDesign Layers to Photoshop from LF Scripts and it comes in a standard or a pro version. The difference between the two versions is that you would need the pro version if you wanted to export multiple pages and have sticky settings that remember your previous conversion preferences. For either version to work, you must have a multi layered InDesign document, a version of Photoshop that is compatible with smart objects. Photoshop currently running, but no Photoshop documents open. And if you're not sure how to do the installation, see the Creative Pro article, How to Install Scripts in InDesign. In this example, I've put some circles on their own individually named layers so that I can animate them later in Photoshop to make an animated GIF. When I have already downloaded and installed the script and am ready to convert the layers, I'll go to Window, Utilities, Scripts to open the scripts panel. Here you can see that I have both the standard and pro versions installed, but you only need one of them. If I double click on the standard version, the InDesign to Photoshop dialog opens. You can see in the Pages to Export section that the All Pages and Range of Pages options are grayed out. Let's cancel and use the pro version. Now I get access to both of those options. Although Current Pages isn't an option, I can set the range of pages to whichever page number or numbers that I want. In the Preferences section, I can set the Resolution, Color Space, Crop Option, and PDF Preset. After setting all the options, I'll click OK. Let's jump over to Photoshop. I see an alert that the script is done and a message about finding the output in the same folder that contains my InDesign source document. I'll click OK and go to that folder to open the output. Because I selected all pages and my InDesign document has two pages, the script created two Photoshop documents. Let's open the first one. In the Layers panel, I can see that the script converted all my InDesign layers into separate Photoshop layers in their same order and with the names I had given the layers in InDesign. Now I could open up the timeline and add some animation. Here's a version with some animation applied that I could export as an animated GIF or render as a video. I'm Myra Ferguson, and I hope this script helps you convert your InDesign layers to Photoshop layers so that you can have more creative freedom with your content. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.